Hi everyone, it's Janet and welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by today. Recently I posted a video called 7 Cricut Hacks. One of the viewers asked how to make envelopes using Design Space. Well that's an excellent question and one that I had when I first started using Cricut too. This video will show you how to make an A2 sized and a square sized envelope. You can adjust these two basic patterns to fit any rectangle or square card. So let's see how this is done. Okay, here I am at the main home page and I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to go up here to the far right and click on the green new project button. Now here is my virtual mat or my design area here and I'm going to next put in an image. So I'm going to go to the left here, click on images. I'm going to search in the search bar button up here for the word envelope. And quite a few things are going to come up. I'm going to choose this card design, this card envelope design here. It is free through access. And I'm going to choose insert image. So here is my envelope. Now you can see this envelope is rather small. It's only, it's less than six inches and it's about four and a quarter inches. So that's obviously not going to fit most of the cards we're going to make. So what I'm going to do is insert a virtual card. I'm going to use shapes to do it. There is no rectangle shape currently in Design Space to choose from, but that's okay. If we choose square, we can make it the shape we need it to be. Now notice if I pull this shape by clicking on this arrow and pulling in and out, it's going to stay perfectly square. In order for us to make a rectangle, we've got to unlock the proportion. So you do that by clicking right here where this lock symbol is. You can also unlock it by going up here where the measurements are of your shape and unclick that uh, lock. Either one is going to unlock the proportions. Now let's make this black square the size of an A2 card. So the width is going to be 4.25, four and a quarter inches, and the height is going to be 5.5 or five and a half inches. And now this represents a normal A2 size card. I'm going to lock the proportions again just so that I can't mess that up later by accident. I've just learned by doing this enough that uh, that will save me some pain later if I just make sure I can't change that out of proportion. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to make this envelope much bigger by grabbing that arrow and pulling it out. Now I can take my rectangle, my A2 size card, and set it in here. My envelope is of course way too big at this point so I can start pulling it in or pushing it in. And I can see that my top and bottom margins are pretty good right now. Even if I have some embellishment this will work but I feel like my left and right margin is way too large. So you can compensate for this by carefully uh, stretching or shrinking just the side or top of an image like this. It won't affect it too much and make it unusable if you're just moving it a small amount. So I'm going to unlock the proportions again using this button right here. And I'm going to grab this button that's the up and down side to side arrow and I'm going to just put it in sideways. And so if I move my my uh, virtual card around here, I can see that it's still a little bit too big for my liking, so I'm going to take it down some more, move it around. And that's that's pretty good right there. I'm, I'm happy with that one. So now that I have uh, made my envelope to fit this A2 card, I'm going to lock my proportions again. I'm going to move this off, and then let's just see what this is going to fit on my mat. So let's click Make It. And of course this is the rectangle that we're not going to cut, but let's look at the envelope. The nice thing is, is this is going to fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, which is great for more options and also to use uh, less expensive papers for an envelope. Say a thinner paper if you want than a cardstock. So this is good news. So that in a nutshell is how to take a card template and create it the shape that you need. Now you might say, well that's great for rectangles. What do I do for square cards? Alright, let's go back and look at that. First of all, 
Let's let's move this, or actually we can delete it. Let's change our virtual card here to a square. Let's make this, um, un, you'll, we'll have to unclick the proportion for a moment, and make it four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then click our proportions back on. All right, so this is gonna be our virtual card base that we're trying to make an envelope for. So let's go back to the images again. Because I typed an envelope before, I'm gonna get all these envelope options again. And let's look for a square option. This one would be good, but it's a purchase option. It's not an access option, and I'd like to choose something that would be good for access users. Let's try this one. All right, I've chosen it because it's got the green line all around it. I'm gonna choose Insert Image. And we can see this is also way too small for our four and a quarter by four and a quarter card base. So I'm going to do the same as I did before, keeping the proportions intact this time and pulling it out quite large. And then I'm going to try to put my card base on the top. Now look what happens. My card base went goes underneath and I it's kind of hard to tell how big I need it, right? So we compensate for this by taking our card base, right clicking and saying, send to front. Now when I drag it over my card base, look, it's on the top, not, it doesn't go below it or behind it. So now we can really see what we're doing. All right, I'm going to click on my envelope again and I'm going to bring it down to a size that's more like my card base. I'm going to do it again. And there you go. That's pretty close to what I want. So there you have the next square. Now let's see what size this is. It might actually not fit on a 12 by 12. We'll see. Ah, it does. This is good news as well. So unfortunately, it, it is a little over eight and a half inches in length, so we're not going to be able to use an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper for this square envelope. We will have to use the 12 by 12, um, but at least we can create our own envelope to fit. Now this is great if your square card is four and a quarter, three and a half, six inches, whatever it is, uh, you can make this envelope fit it. And uh, depending on the size, you may actually have to go to a 12 by 24 size mat to fit the paper on. Unfortunately, because we have this quarter inch margin around our mat, we lose a half inch on the left or on the side and the top uh, total. So sometimes even though our project is under 12 inches width or height wise, it still pushes it onto a 12 by 24 mat. And I hope someday Cricut will figure out a way to uh, stop that from happening so we have a true 12 inch width and 12 inch height. Uh, that would be great. I'm sure it's on their list of items that they're working on. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you learn how to make a custom style uh, envelope for a project or a card that you have. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. I'm looking for ideas to show um, and teach. So if you've got things on your mind you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments of this video and I'll be happy to to uh, do my best to do a video on that. Well, once again, thank you for joining me here today. I really appreciate you visiting and I've put up here uh, the link to subscribe to my channel and also to a couple more videos that I think you might be interested in seeing if you like this one. So I hope to see you back soon, but until then, keep crafting. Bye.